Go, 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 go. <laughs> we are walking on the side of a volcano, 10,000 years old. There are 29 volcanoes in this area. Off in the distance, volcanoes. Beautiful view. Is that it? As lava ages, the various elements within the rock leaches out. Elements present in most lava include oxygen, silicone, iron, aluminum, calcium, magnesium, sodium, sulfur, potassium, titanium, and other trace elements. Here you see calcium, white, sodium, and sulfur, yellows, and iron, red, leaching out of the rock. Fourteen hundred feet wide or eight hundred and fifty feet deep. It's pretty cool. Bandera is the largest wow. volcano in the region. <laughs> Erupted around ten thousand years ago. There were two stages of the eruption. First the cinder cone developed, then a massive lava flow broke out on the side of molten lava reaches temperatures above two thousand Fahrenheit. Bandera's lava flow is nearly 23 miles long. Volcano land. There's 15 volcanoes in this area on the top of the continental divide. 15 are visible from the lookout here. Okay, careful. We're in the lava field. Our lava bed.
says 15. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Said to be at a certain section as you enter, you could feel the cool air. Really? And it stays at 31 degrees. It. You feel it right there? Yeah, I feel it. It's cold. The temperature stays at 31 degrees in this ice cave all year long. So cool. So we're ending our trail, <clears throat> our little hike to the volcano and ice cave. The trail is pretty wide and through the lava field, it gets pretty um, rocky and <clears throat> like a rough terrain. And some of the cinders can get a little deep, but I want to suggest like a wheelchair not too strenuous it's good Coulter stuck it out but we paid like Coulter was free Miles got a discount I think ours was $14 each right yes and I think Miles was like $10 or something took our time on this trail and we're out here for two hours here we just kind of took in the, the, the scenery and nature it's late March so weather's perfect I think bring water maybe snack if you're gonna take your time it was nice the volcano was pretty cool it's um huge in person I don't know if the camera will do justice on how big it is and the ice cave was awesome um, just feeling the cool air and seeing the ice and being inside a cave was fun but scary so we enjoyed ourselves highly recommend a place to come and visit whenever you're you get a chance or when you're in town in Sholo now took a little um, break in pine top stayed there and and then the leg fueled up feels expensive here so 
finally get in some 87 octane fuel rather than 86. I've seen a lot of 86 octane in New Mexico. So you have to bump up to like 80, 88. Yeah, it's kind of cold. It's windy. It was, it was good, but there's some more in store on the next adventure. Stay tuned. Volcano land. Number five. Trees winded. That's so awesome. The land of fire and ice. <laughs> Goodness, you ruined it. <laughs> they said this. They said like in 1930 and 40s, railroad workers would use the ice to keep their beer cold. Fun fact. Fun fact. History right there.